Hello and welcome to the Online Vet. Today I just want to spend a bit of time talking to you about microchipping. Microchipping your pet ensures the best chance they get returned to you should they ever go missing. Although collars and tags are great, they can often get caught or removed, whereas microchipping is a safe, permanent and effective way of identifying your pet. Many pets can be microchipped, including dogs, cats, rabbits, horses, and sometimes even more exotic pets like tortoises. Not only that, but from the 6th of April 2016, it will be a legal requirement to have your dog microchipped and registered on a recognised database in England and Wales. If your dog isn't microchipped after this date, you could face fines of up to £500. So we thought we'd put together a video just describing what the process is. Your vet will start by doing a full, thorough physical exam and ask you for some relevant recent history about your pet's health. This is to make sure that your pet is nice and healthy and okay to have the chip inserted. Then they will check that all the details they have for you on record are correct. It wouldn't be good if your pet was registered to the wrong address for example. Then the vet will check with a scanner to see if your pet already has a microchip. Assuming they don't, they will then proceed to check the chip in the needle to make sure it's working and displays the right code. If it does, next comes the injection. The size of the microchip is around a grain of rice and requires a needle a tad larger than a vaccination needle. Normally, and I say normally here, the injection is over before it starts and your pet should not feel any pain. Sometimes there can be some irritation but it will soon subside. The vet will then scan your pet to make sure the chip works and lo and behold your pet is microchipped. The vet will then register this chip and your details with a large national database so when anything were to happen, their details are safe. The procedure does not require any anaesthetic or sedation and is no more painful than a standard vaccination. The chip is coated in a biocompatible glass which is not rejected by your pet's body. The device fuses to the pet's body tissue which means it won't move around the pet's body throughout time. Please note however, it's the owner's job to keep the information stored in the database up to date. So if you remove, remember to get in contact with them and let them know. Microchipping costs between 10 to 30 pounds depending on where you get it done. Some charities, such as the Dogs Trust or Blue Cross, run free microchipping events. Check out their websites for further information in your local area. Many vets are running promotions in the run up to the law changing in April. Check with your local vets to see if there's any special offers. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and want to see more. Please help us produce more amazing stuff and use our affiliate code below on Amazon to give us a kickback and help support our growth.